a bit late starting the vlog today. Uh, I've been to college, college was good, I had a uh, maths class first thing this morning, so maths is always fun first thing on a Monday morning, but it was fine, it's just revision stuff, preparing for the exam that's coming up. Uh, exam I don't actually need to pass, I've, it's not part of my conditional offer to actually get this exam, but I figure what the hell, I've done all the studying, I might as well do the, do the exam as well, and if I do change my course halfway through, at least I know I've got the maths there, should I need it. Uh, this afternoon's class didn't happen. It was a, it was basically a follow up on the uh, essay that we had to do. Because I got mine all done and handed in, I didn't have to go into class this afternoon. So I came home at lunchtime and uh, basically been chilling out. Uh, made something to eat. I stuck on a film. I've not had a chance to sit down and watch a film for ages, and I ended up watching uh, Spider Man Homecoming which has been on my list of films to watch, so I can keep up with the comic book films. I'm a bit behind, uh, obviously, being that I've only just get into that one. I've still got Ragnarok and uh, Black Panther to watch for the MCU, and I've still got Justice League to watch for the DC, uh, and uh, don't even get me started on TV shows. I'm so far behind on everything. It's uh, ridiculous. This, this whole college thing means I don't have as much time to do things like that anymore. Uh, it just doesn't happen. So, yeah, I'll binge watch them when, during the summer, when when we have our lovely Scottish summer and it's raining. So I'll, ha I'll get the opportunity to do that. Uh, plans for this afternoon, uh, now I've had a bit of a chill and a watch of that, I could very easily watch another film, but I think I better do something a bit more constructive. So I've got a bit of study to do for tomorrow's class, I've got to do some research uh, ahead of the assessment that we're doing for that one. Uh, it's not actually due till next week, but I might as well crack into it. And I'm going to do the review finally on the Athena. So I'm going to finish vaping on this. I've got to get the coils all dried out so that it's ready to be taken apart dismantled. And I will uh, get that done, get that all shot and recorded. It's got to be quite a big one because it is a full kit as opposed to just an RDA or just a mod. So it's a combination of both. So there's quite a bit to do in this. So I'm going to get the camera set up ready to do that, take the mod apart and get it ready. So that's going to take me uh, easy, easily next hour or so to get all that shot and then there's all the editing to go with that. So that's going to be the bulk of the next sort of period of the afternoon. I'll get that done and then I'll come back and update the vlog a bit more. I'm not quite sure what I'll do after that, it just depends how long this is going to take. Those of you with a keen eye will notice something unusual here. What I have is the Athena on top of the nudge. So, why have I done this? Why have I swapped it about? Well, I finished the Athena video. I finished the review on that. I'll throw a link up here. And that video is now there. It's quite a long one. It's about 30 minutes long. And that's because it is a full review of the Athena. Complete everything in there. Uh, break down everything that's in the box. Full wick build everything so uh, with a full kit that does take some time now the next thing I want to do with these mods is do a comparison because I've got four of these uh, four of these squonk mods four in the same sort of budget pretty much the best that you can get in that budget I feel so before I do an actual comparison of the four I want to make sure that it's not just the RDA that I'm liking that it is the full mod kit or if I find that there's a combination that works better than what the kit comes with. So at the minute I'm trying the Athena on top of the Nudge. I've got the Pulse on top of the Athena. And then just to confuse things, I've got the Serpent on top of the Pulse. So I've got all of these. Now the one that isn't part of this swapping around is the drip box. So this one. And the reason for that is because the drip box has that restrictor in there that stops it from being able to, to uh, use anything less than 0 0.2 ohms. Uh, all of these RDAs are currently set up with less than that. So I can't put them on here. Plus the way this is designed you can't put anything bigger than the 22 on it without a huge amount of overhang. So this one is not going to be part of the swapping around, but this is a kind of complete kit anyway. And you wouldn't really want to try something else on that. 
but that's still pretty good. Ooh, I forgot what flavour I had in there, that's quite nice. Uh, so that's what I'm doing with the mods at the minute. Uh, other videos that are coming up, well I'm having a look at the sort of ongoing articles with the news. Yesterday's video that I did about uh, vaping when driving has gone quite gone down quite well. So I'm looking at some other sort of news articles that are coming out about vaping. Uh, there's all the sort of uh, stuff like jewels uh, being influenced to kids into smoking, which is so ridiculous it's not true. It's just, why? Why? Uh, but that's, that's another topic entirely. Uh, I mean, the Jewel, if you're familiar with this device, it's one of the pod systems. I've not got one. I don't feel the need to have a pod system. Uh, they're high nicotine delivery systems. Basically, it's the upgrade to the Sega Lights. So you get the uh, you get the e-cigs, which are, I call e-cigs as opposed to vapes, uh, which are basically the ones that look like cigarettes. They're about the same size. The end lights up a funny color. I used to have one that were lit up green. It was one of the first things I tried. And they do have high nicotine content they've moved on and you've now got things like the jewel like the meat pod these little devices that basically vape and they're saying that there's a lot of press specifically in america uh saying that kids are gonna get hooked on these and move on to cigarettes and uh, which is couldn't be far further from the truth uh these devices are not recommended for kids anyway but uh Jewels, there is a bit of uh, bad press going on with them, and as a device, they could be in a bit of trouble because of it, because of all the bad press they're getting. But that's more to do with the retailers who are letting miners buy these things. Uh, it's not to do with the actual device. The device itself is absolutely brilliant for getting people off the cigarettes because they're getting their their hit off them. It's a high nicotine content, so it's easy to wean yourself off the cigarette when you're getting that. Uh, a lot of what I vape is a low nicotine content, so I, that's part of why I vape a lot, is because it, I've got myself down to three milligram. So a lot of times I don't need a high nicotine content. Uh, it's usually first thing in the morning that I need that high nicotine content. What I've actually found is with this thing, uh, you might remember that I've got an issue where I can't turn the power down on this. Uh, so I've got this uh, iJoy XL running at 220 watts which is a very very hot vape but because it is such a hot vape it's vaping a lot which means I'm getting a lot of vape in one go and therefore having a lot of nicotine coming even though it's only a 3 mil so this is the one that I'm hitting when I need that boost very very hot vape very very warm I hit that for 1.7 seconds. It wasn't a long vape at all. I hit the other ones for three, four seconds. So it's not a long hit on that, but it is a lot of vape production that's going on there. Uh, and that's purely because of the extremely high wattage. So I'm gonna keep this in rotation because it is good sort of first thing in the morning when I wanna get that nicotine in my system and going, or other sort of times when I'm getting that craving for that cigarette. Uh, that's when it, this thing is going to be brilliant. Uh, so, uh, making making the most out of things with the uh, playing up T breath here. So, uh, it's getting near sort of dinner time, so I'm going to stop recording for the minute. Uh, I've just been having a little blather here and uh, talking about all sorts of weird things that are going on. Uh, I think. I don't think I'm going to do another video today, I think it will just be finishing off the vlog, unless something suddenly strikes me uh, that I feel I really need to do a video on, like the driving thing from yesterday. Uh, so I'll come back later on, I'll update if I've done anything, fill in what's happening tomorrow, and end the vlog in a little bit. But for now, I'm just going to chill out and have a vape. So now I'm rocking the pulse on top of the Athena here, and it's kicking ass pretty good. I'm I'm liking this uh, combo; it's not bad. Uh, but obviously, more to come on that later in the showdown. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to try and get the showdown sh shot sometime this week. It will be quite a long one because I'm going in depth on four different mods there, <coughs> so that will take a bit of time. 
Uh, so this evening has been pretty quiet. I've just been working away at the study stuff. Got quite a bit of research done, and just been chilling out, watching a bit of stuff on telly, and playing with the cat. So that's been this evening. Uh, tomorrow's another busy day. I seem to have a lot of these busy days. Uh, college tomorrow morning. Uh, just the morning in college, and then work tomorrow evening. So it's the double hit of tomorrow. I've uh, got two things going on. And that's pretty much it tomorrow. I will try and get the vlog done sort of in the in-between. I do have a bit of downtime in between there and get some stuff shot. I'm not sure if I'll get any extra videos done. I'm still sort of running my comparison tests on these things, uh, as I described earlier. That's pretty much it for the vlog today. Uh, vlog 17. These numbers keep racking up. Uh, gonna hit a milestone fairly soon. Uh, I think that tomorrow's vlog will likely be video number 30 on the channel. Uh, if you have a look at the channel, I have actually set up some playlists on there now. Uh, there's a playlist which is the first two weeks of vlogs. There's one that's uh, all the vague question related videos and one that's all the review related videos. And about once a week I'll go in and add in any of the new videos that get added on and just add them into the playlist. That'll make it a bit easier to find if you're after a certain type of, of video there. Uh, other than that, uh, all the usual stuff, like, comment, share, subscribe, uh, click the links and uh, follow me on Twitter. I've not said that on the vlog for a while. I keep missing it in the vlog, but I do say it in the other videos. I do have a Twitter, it's at one purple mongoose. That's at the number one purple mongoose. Feel free to follow there. Uh, I'm not posting a huge amount on there yet, but I will start adding more content up there once I get a few more followers. Uh, other than that, vape on.